Hey, sad news, uh, wrestling fans, uh, pro wrestling fans, um, Road War Animal has passed away at age 60. Um, obviously, uh, the Road Warriors, many say, the greatest tag team of all time. And uh, I would put them in my uh, top two, um, probably as number one, with the early 1990s uh, Steiner brothers uh, behind them. And it was great that those two tag teams wrestled at Starcade 89. Uh, the Road Warriors, um, you know, first were part of the reason I got into watching uh, non-WWF wrestling because they were part of the Georgia Championship Wrestling. And they were the focal point, the Legion of Doom, along with Jake the Snake, uh, Roberts, and the Spoiler. Uh, that was the original um, Legion of Doom that uh, was managed by Paul Ellering. You know, a lot of people just think of the Road Warriors as the Legion of Doom. It was actually a faction um, that was a great faction with the Spoiler and Jake the Snake and Paul Ellering. Um, they they briefly flirted with bringing in King Kong Bundy, um, but they uh, Paul Ellering made fun of him and, and all these wonderful stories. Um, the Road Warriors had a great run in the AWA. Uh, they went from Georgia to the AWA, which was kind of an interesting choice because even uh, in 1980, uh, I guess they got there in uh, 84, it was um, a time where the AWA was no longer, um, you know, kind of losing some momentum there. And But the Road Warriors helped turn that around. And uh, while they were AWA tag team champions, they also uh, toured the country and uh, wrestled people like the Sheep Herders and... Um, who would become on the Bushwhackers. So the Road Warriors were kind of this touring uh, World Tag Team Championship team, kind of like the NWA World Champion. So, but they were the AWA World Tag Team Champions and because Vern Gagne had a lighter schedule, they were able to take those belts and wrestle throughout the independence and take on the Fabulous Ones in Memphis. And um, they had some great matches. The Fabulous Ones was... Uh, you know, one of the guys that would be in the Midnight Express, Stan Lane, along with uh, Steve Kern. <sighs> the Road Warriors, um, you know, they did both wrestle before they were a tag team, very briefly. You know, Hawk, uh, who passed away back in 2003 at age 46. Hawk wrestled as a crusher, uh, be, be crusher something. Um, and uh, Animal wrestled as just the singular Road Warrior. But when they put them together, the story goes that Ole Anderson put them together in Georgia, and um, <clears throat> they were uh, just a great fit. Um, I've read most of Animal's book. Um, I think I've read all of it, actually. Uh, Road Warrior Animal did write a book a few years ago. I'm glad that he did. And, um, you know, he discusses everything in his career. So, so go out and get Road Warrior Animal's book if you want all the details. Uh, Animal did say that he was kind of the more um, uh, consistent of the two, that Hawk did have a lot of issues. That's been written about, that's been discussed, and um, Animal really kept them together. Animal's power slam, um, the spider web, uh, turning on Sting uh, in, I believe it was September of 80, 88 that the Road Warriors turned on Sting, and it was it was good for a while, but the Road, the, the road Warriors did not, uh, people did not want to boo them. That was the problem. The, the fans did not want to boo <laughs> the Road Warriors. So within three or four months, they were feuding with the Varsity Club, you know, Steve Williams and uh, Mike Rotundo and uh, Kevin Sullivan, and the Road Warriors turned back babyface. So um, on my end, a lot of respect to the Legion of Doom. A lot of respect to Animal. Um, the I mean, people will talk about their matches all day and all night uh, against the, the Four Horsemen and the War Games, um, all types of uh, things, you know, teaming with Dusty, fighting Dusty, the Koloffs. Uh, other fans might really remember the Road Warriors going over to the WWF and um, wrestling, you know, the Natural Disasters, Money Incorporated. Um, you know, we, we'll, try, we'll try to forget about Rocco the Puppet, if possible, but I guess I just mentioned him. Um, you know, so just some great memories. Uh, I guess I'm still in shock. You know, I, I, I could talk about the Road Warriors all day, 
uh, I guess I'm still in shock that Animal has passed away. I remember seeing him at a UFC fight. Uh, not a, it wasn't UFC. It was I think Bellator, and uh, I want to say was it um, Tito Ortiz or something. It was one of these fights, maybe four or five years ago, maybe less, where Animal came out. Um, I think it was a, a Ken Shamrock, Tito Ortiz, uh, something like that, where Animal came out. I think it's been tough for Animal, and he even articulated this because I was watching one of his RF video. Uh, shoot interviews uh, that he did on his own and Animal said that it was tough for him to get bookings and you know even autograph signings it's tougher now for him because without Hawk uh, it was tough and, uh, but you know Animal was still very active and kind of uh, keeping the Road Warrior uh, uh, flame alive the spirit so I think it's um you know, it's a tough thing, you know, when, when your partner passes away before you and, and you're kind of left there with the legacy. I know that, you know, for the last, I guess, 17 years uh, since Hawk died, that Animal has, has lived with that. Um, but I think he, did, he, he had uh, kids. Uh, one of his sons, I think, is a, f a major football player in college. Or, um, you know, obviously Hawk, uh, Animal had two brothers uh, in the wrestling industry. Uh, one of which was John Laurinaitis, and I, I guess, um, you know, Animal, from what he read, uh, you could kind of read between the lines. I don't want to say they didn't get along, but the Animal kind of was a, a, Animal was the worker, the wrestler, and Laurinaitis was the, you know, behind the scenes guy, uh, you know, Johnny Ace, you know, and, and basically the Animal was one of the boys, is what I would say. And and uh, Johnny uh, Laurinaitis was uh, one of the office after a while. I think the other brother was um, the Terminator. He wrestled as the Terminator for a while. Uh, so it's, it's uh, I don't know, you know, we, we, death is tough. I mean, we, we say it, in a situation like this when a guy is 60, uh, yes, that's that's a little young to, to pass away or, or, or you have, depending on how you look at it. Um, but I mean, for a guy who lived 60 years to have kids, uh, I, I don't know if Animal had grandkids or not. I think he might have. But for him to have kids, a career, leave a legacy, uh, have, a, have a hell of a ride. I mean, people will always remember the Road Warriors and Animal, you know, was, was half of that equation. Or, or however you want to put it, Hawk and Animal. Um, so... It's, it's, it's one of those things, you know, when we, we see this type of thing, you know, does it make you want to stop and pause and pay tribute? Yes. But what I would hope uh, for people, please, I would just say for the wrestling fans, take a moment, remember the Legion of Doom. But I would not, um, do not, um, this guy had a great life, you know, this, this road warrior animal, um, Joe Laurinaitis had a great life you know so so let's not uh, although he was cut short at age 60 you have to respect the fact that this guy went out took on the fucking world and made a mark uh and made a big impression on people and and had a hell of a run and came out the other side leaving behind a legacy yes we we feel bad for his family uh we feel bad for everybody that's gonna miss him but, but don't feel that this guy did not have a great life because quite frankly, he did. So for, to me, although it's a, it's a time to feel bad that Road Warrior Animal is gone, we have to respect the guy. We have to respect the guy that he lived uh, probably better than most people. So my respect to Road Warrior Animal, uh, the respect to his family, and uh, favorite Road Warrior memories, there's so many, but I, I really liked Starcade 89, just watching it on TV, the night of the Iron Man, that was kind of like their, if you could say that there was a Coupe de Gras moment of the Road Warriors in the NWA slash WCW, you'd have to say it was uh, Starcade 89 because that was their last, you know, show, so to speak, uh, big show. They did a few more pay-per-views, but they were out of there by 90, and they, um, in a way, they won the Ironman tournament, but they still 
put over the Steiners. So respect to the Reg Legion of Doom, Mike Messier, Mike Messier YouTube channel, MikeMessier.com, Animal.